Hi guys, Virtus Education here with episode 12 of the HTML web programming tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be giving you an introduction to forms and some of the different types of inputs, allowing users to input information into your website. Now, keep in mind these inputs can actually be hooked up to some kind of JavaScript element to, you know, program in functionality into your website. So, for example, you know, when you go into a website like, say, Amazon, eBay, and so on and so forth, you know, you might want to log in. And whenever you type in your information, you can do so using some kind of text field like this and when you press a button it goes ahead and you know verifies that information and so on so what we're going to be doing in today's episode having said that is we will be going over how we can actually create the input elements for this interaction to take place in so let's just go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be doing so in this episode we're going to be going over three different types of input First and foremost, we've got a text field. Secondly, we've got a password field. And lastly, we have a, um, you know, a text area. So there's a few difference between, uh, differences between all of these. First and foremost, the text field just essentially allows you to enter text. The password field allows you to enter text once again. However, it's converted to these little dots because it's a password. You want it not to be hit, uh, you don't want it to be shown. And then lastly, you've got the text area, which allows you to enter text. However, this can uh, be, you know, selected and dragged in terms of size for the user and can be, uh, and can span across multiple lines. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the code which I have, uh, you know, to construct this. So first and foremost here, you can see in my code that all of my input stuff here is contained within uh, some form text because whenever you want to put in information it's got to be part of a form and then inside of that for these two little text areas here the text area in the pass in the password field I've got input tags and then I've just defined the type of input uh, using uh, these little identifiers here you know type equals text and type equals password and then I've just got some other stuff uh, which you don't need to worry about now which I will go over and lastly I've got my text area which doesn't use input tags and instead uses you know just text area tags and inside of that I've set up some attributes to set the amount of rows and the amount of columns so having said let's just go ahead and see if we can create our very own uh, form with some inputs that I've just shown you so I'm just going to quickly delete that refresh and get onto a blank canvas <coughs> so let's just go ahead and get started so first and foremost as I mentioned previously you need to wrap pretty much all of your inputs inside of form tags so just go ahead and create some form tags you're going to need two of them and make sure you close off the second one just like that now inside of here what we're going to do is we're going to create some input tags just like this now just keep in mind that you do not need to close off input tags not these ones anyway and you do not need to make them in pairs so I'm going to go ahead and make two input tags one for each of the two elements that we're going to be creating the first of which is going to be for the text area so let's just quickly go ahead and save refresh and when I just dump in input text like this it's going to assume that you want a text field so if you want something different you're gonna have to define what type of input you want so inside of here inside of the first one I'm gonna do type equals and then inside of two quotation marks I'm just going to go ahead and write text and that will give you a text field however if you want something different like say a password box you're just going to head, go ahead and type in type equals and inside of two quotation marks just go ahead and type in password just like that and you'll see the second one is now a password and the first one is a text field exactly as we set up now there's a few different values as uh, for attributes that we can play around with for these so for example if I wanted to I could go ahead and set the default text inside of these little boxes I can do this by typing in value equals and then instead of two quotation marks I can set it to whatever I want so instead of the username box sorry the text box I'm gonna type in username 
and inside of the password box I'm gonna set it to secret now you're gonna go ahead and see that you know the first one has username as I specified in it and in the password field you can see that we just got these dots because it is a password field and you do not want your password to be shown inside of it which is working great now we can also define the name of a specific element I can do that by typing in name equals and then inputs and then you know just end it off like that now some of you may be wondering why would I want to give it a name the reason for this being that I can use this name to reference a specific element inside of JavaScript so for example if you want to program in the interactivity with an element you're gonna have to do this with JavaScript and you would reference this element using um, you know the name so let's just go ahead and do that now I'm not gonna be showing you how to do that in this episode however that is something uh, to keep in mind so that's pretty much everything for text boxes and passwords now there is one more type of object that I want to create with you that being the text area so let's just go ahead and create that now for a text area you do not have to use the input tags instead you use tags uh, called text areas just like this and you make two of these rather than just the one now pretty if I go ahead and save this just using that it will actually go ahead and create our text area just like that and you can see that we can drag it around to change the size and so on however there is a whole bunch of different properties we can play around with first and foremost we can put text inside of it to do that all I gotta do is just in, in between the text area tags all I gotta do is just go ahead and type something so hello <coughs> and you can see that that is now in there so let's go ahead and refresh and boom that's now inside of there we can also play around with um, you know sorry the rows and columns this essentially just allows us to define the width and height basically because you know this is a multi line element so let's go ahead and set the columns equals and then I'm going to set this to something like 70 refresh and you'll see this is now nice and wide uh, pretty much 70 columns I can also define how tall it is so you know how many different lines by using the rolls which is basically um, rows sorry rows equals and then I'm going to set this to something like 3 which should be you know decent and you can pretty much see how that works so just keep in mind rows is downwards my columns is left and right so that's pretty much everything I wanted to go over in this episode thanks for watching hopefully you know how to use these three different types of inputs my introduction uh, has shown you what you need so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video goodbye mm -hmm.